We have our CGT and correspondent, Groom Chala, standing by. Groom, sorry we missed you a little while ago. Thank you for joining us again, Groom. The government there is saying almost all of the Amhara region is down under the control of Ethiopian Defense Forces. What does this say about the progress of the war in the north, Groom? Richard, this was an important announcement that uh, came from the government side. Remember, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed uh, went back to the war front uh, perhaps a month ago, and uh, he's been leading all forces, including the Ethiopian National Defense Force, the militias, and others under his command. And that has resulted in uh, freeing of uh, most of the cities which were under the control of the TPLF force. You remember in the Afar regional state, there were so, so many significant areas which were, which were freed after that. And also, uh, Dase Kombolcha and others, including Lalibela city, which was historically important for Ethiopia, and also UNESCO's uh, uh, registered um, heritage uh, is also present in that city. The last stronghold, Waldia, as you said, Richard, uh, was freed and the government is saying that this is a mark that anyone should take as the end the beginning of the end of the occupation of the uh, rebel force in the uh, amhara and uh, afar regional state afar has been freed a long time ago and now uh, uh, amhara regional state is uh, free uh, tplf on the other side is saying that this is not a victory registered by the government registered by the government force rather they have Ooh. evacuated themselves out of these areas which we have mentioned earlier Richard. so in general terms, this is what we have heard, and offensive has continued to, uh, perhaps according to the ENDF, to clean up some of the areas in the Amhara regional state, and war seems to be uh, subsiding all in all. All right, Guru, important points that you've made there. You also indicated that the UN is removing its travel restrictions to Ethiopia. Tell us more about that. So this is according to the United Nations Department for Safety and Security uh, Office itself, and it's saying that uh, uh, you remember the UN has restricted uh, travels, because travel, uh, non-essential travel, that is, to Addis Ababa, is, uh, to uh, Addis Ababa, saying that it's been surrounded by rebel force and uh, its staff are not safe. This has been repeated by. Uh, um, embassies including the United, uh, the United States and others. Now the statement uh, reads that uh, following a significant improvement in the security situation of the southern parts of Amhara, Afar and Addis Ababa, the designated official consultation with, in consultation with other offices has recommended the lifting of the suspension of non essential uh, external uh, travel and mission to Addis Ababa and now that uh, lifting of restrictions now is um, effective uh, starting from this uh, December 17 uh, that is so the, the lifting is uh, by the way an important step the Ethiopian officials are saying that while well, we've been saying this before Addis Ababa has been safe um, the US uh, and others including the United Nations decided to remove their personnel out of Addis Ababa now that they are returning we will welcome them with arms wide open and will continue reiterating the fact that we should work together for the good of this country and also the regional uh, peace and security situation. This is also yet another good news, uh, Richard, as the UN is lifting these restrictions, uh, travel restrictions, that is, because it is going to assist the humanitarian activity being, um, you know, seen uh, in the north uh, when it comes to delivering aid and others. So an important positive step for Ethiopia now that the United Nations has decided to lift no, non-essential travel uh, restrictions uh, to the country. All right, well, there you have it. Almost all areas of Amhara region freed from rebels, and the government says it has full control of Lili Bella.